Roscoe. Right on, we got a great adventure today. Uh, today's Thursday, I got the call. There's no work because of snow. Portland was shut down. So, uh, got a hold of my customers, let them know we wouldn't make it. We're gonna reschedule. And I loaded the truck the best I could uh, to head up here. Now, really all I put in the truck was my ski gear, clothing, food for Bob, and water. I'm gonna try to live um, this weekend on what's in here. I've got all kinds of things I'll show you, uh, but I wanna get skiing. We'll talk about the parking lot situation, what's going on, and what I'll have to do at probably three in the morning. But uh, let's get dressed, let's go skiing, and, and then let's find out if there's anything in here to eat. I also, uh, Leah packed my lunch for work today, and so I threw that in here. So I have my lunch uh, for work. All right, let's get skiing. We just got back on a close change from just an epic day of skiing. I hope the footage turns out that I got. Um, man, it was deep. I think there's 40 inches of new snow out of the storm. We were skiing out, uh, we had to traverse out to a accordion bowl and um, just get some untracked steep stuff. I hope it shows up. All right, but this video um, is going to see if I can eat the food that's in the camper. I left the house. Um, after work was canceled, um, I, I stopped at the gas station and got gas and some candy. So other than that, I put dog food in here for Bob and water. We're going to live off what's in that tote up there, what's under the stove. I'll show you what I got. Um, and uh, I think we're going to make it just fine a couple days. So that's what this video is. Let's see what we got for food. All right, I just about always have Triscuits in here, or Wheat Thins. Um, I'm surprised it's not open, but we got that. What do we have? What else do we have in here? Um, let's put this up here. Okay, we've got a couple packages of Top Ramen. We've got some chocolate chip oatmeal from the morning. Stewed tomatoes, I don't know what I can do with that. We've got our flowers and our oat, our rice in here, in case there's something. We got pasta noodles, creamy mushroom soup. We can make something with that. Um, some hollandaise sauce, some 
buffalo uh, tuna, buffalo flavor, power bar, jiffy pop. Yeah, we've got things in here that we can survive on. Baby clams, smoked clams, white wine vinegar, I don't know why. All right, so we got that in here that we can survive on. Let's see uh, what's under under the stove here. All right. These are kind of messy. You always gotta have wet wipes for sanitizing stuff and cleaning your hands. All right, under here. Ooh, we got elbow pasta. It's been open, make sure we don't make a mess of that. We've got some potato chips, quite a few mountain fish biscuits and gravy for breakfast. Uh, I'm out of here. Mac and cheese. All right, man. Great skin. Later. See you tomorrow? No, Saturday. Uh, maybe tomorrow. All right. Later. All right, see you later. Um, my buddy Brandon. Uh, Buffalo style chicken and cheap mac and cheese. So we got we got food in there we can eat. All right, let's see how the weekend goes. Eating what's in the camper. And, of course, skiing. All right, up here at Meadows. The RV, they call it RV Row. They are super uh, picky about where you park. You're supposed to be against that back row. But I don't know if you can see all the snow from the weeks, from the storms all this week. So they're going to plow it tonight. They ask that we park out here um, on Thursday nights. It's usually Thursday when they do it. Um, and at 3 in the morning, we'll start our trucks and drive back in. So I'm parked out here for now. Um, get in there in the morning but this is our spot but if you come to meadows do not park in the lot overnight you'll get a boot be against the wall all right let's go back inside all right we are going to have our buffalo style chicken mac and cheese All right, it says uh, 13 ounces of water. We're using our jet boil for our measuring cup. We're just gonna boil the water. This is what we're having tonight. Not cooking anything fancy. We're eating what's in the camper. So you can leave in the comments. I like to know in the comments, uh, in your kit, in your truck, how many days of food do you think you have in your vehicle? Uh, if I rationed, I probably have three or four days. If I'd have to ration. I'm not going to do 2,000 calories a day in here. I know that I wouldn't. And I don't carry, I don't leave water in when I'm, when I'm home. That usually all comes out. But I have probably three or four days worth of food. But anyway, I'm curious to see what you have in yours. If you leave a comment. I'd be uh, interested to see how many days of food you think you have in your vehicle at all times. All right, let's cook us up some um, Mountain House and let's have dinner. Looks less soupy. By the way, this is buffalo style chicken mac and cheese, and it says chicken and pasta in a spicy cheese sauce with carrots and celery. Well, I see a carrot, I see a noodle, and I see celery. So the description works. All right, the chicken is done this time.
All right, well, it's spicy, and um, it might come back to haunt me later on, but it's spicy. Still think I used a little too much water. Okay, I recently, recently saw a YouTube video that said use less water. Um, and maybe I'll start doing that. Putting less water in than it calls for. All right, is our dinner? We're gonna enjoy this, Bob and I. And then I think I'm just gonna crawl up in the bed. It's gonna be seven o'clock. And uh, hang out for a while and just go to sleep. It's gonna be a tough night with the snowblower in the parking lot. So we're gonna need some sleep so we can get a good night's, a uh, good day of skiing tomorrow. All right, buddy. See you later. All right. Bob and I are in for the night. We'll see you guys in the morning. I think he's a tired puppy. We're going to keep him warm. He's gotten cold a couple times, though. So we're keeping him warm tonight. All right, everybody. See you in the morning. We just got back from another great day of skiing a lot of traversing get out to the good stuff um, fantastic day with a really good bunch of people everybody's looking out for uh, one another in the backcountry so it was really nice uh, it was a really good weekend and it was nice to know that I could go a couple days with the food that's in the camper um, we still have a little food left we could we could go all weekend but uh, I need to go home, make sure I repack the stuff that I took out. So we've always got that stockpile in here. I think it's a it's a great tool to have. Just keep the food in your car. You never know if you're gonna break down, have to be a couple more days somewhere. Um, it's, it's, it's a good cushion. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, look forward to making the next one. I certainly had fun making this one and we'll see you guys next time. Say goodbye, Bob. Say goodbye to the people to YouTube. Bye. Hi, everybody. See you next time. That said, use less water. Why the fuck are you shutting down? Hey, see you guys. See you on the downstairs. Yeah, honey, honey.